Hey guys, that's Aviv here. Welcome to my FIFA 19 90 Cultoir player review. This is the base gold version of Thibaut Cultoir. He's been one of the most requested goalkeepers for me to review for a long time now. He's generally considered as one of the best keepers in the game, with a lot of the pros using him. The general debate as to who's the best goalkeeper is usually between this card and De Gea. I've reviewed both De Gea's normal card and his team of the year on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing how this card stacks up against them, you can check those videos out. Anyway, as you can see on the screen, this is the team I started him in. Coutoir in goal, Robertson, Ferdinand, Alderweireld and Walker in defence. Gate, Wijnaldum, and Fred and Silver in midfield, with Vardy and Aguero in attack. Coutoir is 6'6", his left foot is a 3 style weak foot and 1 star skill moves. I only use him with a basic chemistry style as all his stats are fairly even to begin with. So starting off with the positives, the first thing I'm going to mention and the best thing about this card for me was definitely his diving. Coutoir makes some of the best diving saves in the game, which is also down to his height. At 6'6", six six, he's one of the tallest keepers in FIFA, and like every year, this is nothing but a positive. His reach allows him to make saves that other smaller keepers might just fall short of making. He managed to get a lot of fingertip saves, and he can be real game winning in those close games. His height also helps him out against crosses and corners, as although he isn't the fastest of goalkeepers, his long reach allows him to come out and collect a lot of aerial balls being sent into the box. The next positive is his reflexes, which actually surprised me in game. Although he has a stat of 88, which is actually really good for a keeper, I feel like he does outperform this stat. He was great at quickly sticking out an arm or a leg to make a vital save to push the ball away from goal. He also did very well at getting down low to reach shots with his hands and even made a couple of saves with his feet, which is always a positive. Handed on this card was good. To say it's a highest rated stat, I wouldn't say it stood out in game, but he does manage to hold on to a fair amount of shots. Courtois catches the shots that he either has enough time to react to or shots that are near to his starting position. This stat is still great, but he did push the ball out wide or over a couple of times, but you might expect him to catch the ball. I didn't have any issues with his speed whilst using him. You can tell that Courtois isn't the fastest of goalkeepers, but he has enough speed to come out and collect the balls that he knows he's capable of reaching. Sometimes he did come a little too close to not reaching the attacker in time, but more often than not, he'd just about make it, so I wouldn't be put off bringing him off his line. Distribution wise, this card is decent enough. He does have the long throw trait, which for me is the most important thing. It allows him to throw the ball with power to around the halfway line, making it easy to start up quick counter attacks. I didn't really have any issues with his kicking. He has enough power on it to kick it deep into your opponent's half. Occasionally it lacks a little accuracy, but it was good for the most part. The final positive was his positioning. Courtois always seemed to be in the right place at the right time, giving him the best chance at stopping the ball. I also noticed I can see slightly less long shots compared to normal, which I'm going to put down to both his positioning and height. His starting position, I feel, also helps his ability to rush out at attackers, which is probably why I didn't notice his speed is much of an issue. Courtois' rushing angles when you bring him out were also great and he rarely came out on an angle which allowed my opponent to easily shoot past him. The only negative I found with this card was that if he wasn't able to catch the shot, sometimes he would push the ball back into the path of another attacker, rather than clearing it behind for a corner or pushing it away from danger. This doesn't happen all the time, but it's frustrating when he makes a good initial save just to allow an easy tap-in or rebound goal. So overall, I'm going to give 90 Courtois a 9.3 out of 10. This is a very hard decision, and I know a lot of the time he's generally considered by some as the best keeper in the game. However, the only negative is what keeps me from giving him a high rating. Although he concedes less long shots compared to other top goalkeepers, he still does concede the odd one every few games. I understand they're bringing out a patch that downgrades the success of time finesse shots, and when that comes to console, this guy might be one of your best options in goal. I've still given Courtois one of the highest goalkeeper ratings out of my reviews because he's a great keeper in this game and is very well rounded in terms of stats. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you request any future content, then please just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.